All right, here we go. Attempt, real attempt number one. No lives, Let's just jump right into this. Boom. Number one. Beginner should be pretty easy. So, at the very least, we're gonna get through beginner. And then I'm gonna save. And if we have to restart from advanced or whatever, we'll do that. You know, work our way up. We'll get there. We're gonna get through the whole thing. Because we gotta do things uh, incrementally. Gotta make sure, too, I'm not taking any warp goals. Um, and uh, obviously not fall off anywhere. And not pause either. Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a little crazy. I feel like I'm speedrunning or something. Except I'm not. There's literally not even a timer. There's no, no timer on screen. Nice. How long have I been playing? Why do you? What up, Joshua J. Fox? In the chat, dude. What's going on? Long time no see, I think. I think it's been a while. How you doing? I don't remember if you were here last stream or not. Granted, I barely remember what that last stream was. How have I been? Dude, I've been all right, man. I am on the grind. Or, uh, I, oh, whoops. I didn't hit the button for some reason. That was kind of a fail. Um, been good, dude, glad to hear you, man. What you been up to? I am, uh, playing monkey ball, so. Don't see that every day. Something, try something a little different. Thought maybe now's the time I try to do a ultimate deathless run, because it's a cool thing that uh, hasn't been done as far as, as far as my knowledge goes. Now, I'm gonna do the bonuses that I can do. Technically, you can't do all of them, so. But, just doing for fun, I guess. If I forget one, it doesn't really matter. It is well. Why not? Interview with SpaceX, dude. Interview with SpaceX. That is like awesome, bro. Holy cow. Well, good luck with that. That goes well. That'd be a cool place to be at. Probably. I don't know. I've never, never been there. But, uh, that sounds pretty dope. Got some big things coming, sounds like. Ooh. Extremely hard. Well, maybe. Dude, maybe. But, good thing is. You can still do it, even if it's tough. Ready? The harder it is, that means the better it'll be if you get it. Maybe, I think. That makes sense. Gone, gone time? You already know. I'm actually making it even harder for myself, because I, if I use, you know, not gone, gone, then, well, the levels with wires would be a lot easier. If I use, like, I.I. or Baby or something. Okay, well, we're going again. There we go. I didn't want to do the run strat because my practice run I did, whatever that last stream was, uh, I failed it. So. Why did I make a new profile picture like two months ago? What do you mean? Ready? I feel like my I've had my profile picture for uh, kind of a while. At least since, uh, probably at least since the new year. Give or take a little bit of time. Although I've only streamed like three times since then, so I don't know. Wanted to. Like to change it up sometimes. I don't remember what my picture even was before, I'll be honest. What do I think of Fortnite No Building? What do I think? Dude, I didn't even play it. I haven't played Fortnite in like a couple months, so I don't even know. I was just asking about that earlier, if that's still like a thing or if they added back building. Apparently it's in two different modes. So. I don't know, everyone was saying it's good. I think about that and I'm like, is that good? But everyone was saying it was, so maybe it is. 
And I say that as someone that's not even like, I'm not even good at building. I mean, I suck at it, but I just feel like it's a core part of the game. So it sounds weird to have it gone. But like, if you're not building in Fortnite, then aren't you just playing like one of the other battle royales at that point? Where's my Dave and Buster's hoodie? Uh, it's over, sitting over there. Like, sitting on a pile of clothes. I don't wanna keep moving this. Yeah, it's sitting right there. I can see it. He's time. Yeah, I think that's it. It's just not, it's like kinda like warmer, so I don't wanna wear it. It's a very thick hoodie, whereas this is like, like a, more like a shirt, basically. It's really thin. So what up, Kato? In the chat? Thank goodness, I, I do live, which I don't, I don't know why I wouldn't. It's only been 20, 24 years, so. I think I've still got a few, few more in me, probably. How you doing? Boom. Blue light glasses, you got it, they sure are. Figure it'd be nice to wear them. One, because it can help with uh, making my head not hurt as much when I stare at screens all day. And two, which is uh, honestly kind of a silly reason, but it actually kind of helps keep my hair out of my eyes too, since I really need a haircut like super bad. Uh, I've been meaning to do that, I've just been putting it off. It's already been like six months or something since I've had a cut. Something stupid like that. But yeah, these are just blue light glasses, so I don't, I don't actually need these. My prescription ones are sitting uh, somewhere. I don't, I don't remember where they are. I think they're, yeah, they're over there. Sitting on the table. Just wearing contacts right now. I'm procrastinating it, dude. I don't know, I just never want to go get one. I don't really like getting my hair cut. I don't really know who does. Oh, I didn't play this stage. This was one I actually wanted to try because the strat here is like not stupid easy, so I'm like kind of scared. Just do it the, like like that, I guess. I mean, it is easy, I could have done. I'm a beginner, like come on. Come on. Might as well just do a beginner speed run without a timer. But yeah, I guess the other thing is too, I've, I've had some haircuts that I really just was not a fan of, so. It would kind of suck, you know, to go get a haircut and have it suck, you know? That would suck. And I already am not really going anywhere right now, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Because it's more annoying when I actually have to, like, go places. But I haven't had anywhere to go, so. If I'm just at home, I don't really care that much. I'd rather not get a haircut right now that like, I don't know, makes me like bald or something. I can avoid it. That has happened before. Got some shady cuts. I'm gonna wait here. Probably could have made it, but gotta make this at least seem somewhat casual. So get a bowl cut. I already kind of have one right now. It's already kind of bullish. A little bit, it's kind of a crazy bowl right now. It's more like a mop. But I don't think I'll do that. I usually just get it cut fairly, fairly short. Not super short. I shouldn't say, shouldn't say that, but. I don't know, just shorter than it is. Short enough that I don't have to get a haircut more than once every six months. Since I don't usually like doing that. I think it's boring. Also, I kind of like, like having the change, you know? Get some variety, rather than just having the same thing all the time. Nice to change things up. Uh, I don't know what to do here either. This was another one I probably should have tried, but I didn't. I can already think of another level too that I'm gonna play in a minute that I also should have probably tried. This one is pretty easy. Do it one-handed, holy cow. Holy moly, how do you do that? You drink water. Fun fact, you play this whole game one-handed. It's pretty cool. Don't even don't even need this hand. At all. 
Unless you're, uh, unless you're pausing. Or unless you, I don't know. It could be nice to, like, hold the controller, I guess, but I just rested on my leg. Uh, that's fine. Don't want to do the skip here. It's a little, a little risky. So just go the normal way. Works. There you go. See, this is the one I was like, maybe I should do something, cause a lot of things I can do here. But this is this is fine. Just going like this. The long way around the scenic route. It's a lot to see. It's a pretty big level, so it's like I think the biggest level in the game. I don't even think it's close. Boom. Ready? This is stupid easy. I think it's weird that this stage is like actually stupid free and then right after you get like the hardest stage of beginner. That's harder than like half the stages in advance. Like, like no difficulty balancing at all. Go through the slate, uh, the stage of your field. Ah, uh, no, I don't think so. Where do you go through the stage? Like from, like where, where, do, where do you even do that? The only clip I've seen, I think, of someone just falling through the stage is on launchers, and that I've seen a few times. long hair and you get it cut short it is pretty nice it's it's like the contrast makes it so much better that's what i'm saying that's why i like to grow it out and then get it cut i just don't want to cut like too short like but just short enough that it's like feels nice and i still have hair in my head so i need that balance now i am gonna save here yes like I said, I will I will be using saves for the first time just to get through it, you know, because I'm really kind of testing the waters here. How hard is this really going to be? I might do it one try. Might not even matter. But my hypothesis is that expert is going to suck and it's going to take quite a few tries. So might be worth doing it with saves just once at least. It's also the perk of playing on the actual game. If I was doing this on the ROM hack, then I wouldn't even have that option. You just went through the stage. Yeah, I've never seen that. That's just like, it's like weird. It doesn't normally happen. Clearly, I thought I thought that was like a launcher's exclusive thing, just because of something something weird to do with the animation or how the stage is. But on Veerfield, literally completely static, non-moving stage. I don't know if it was just because you were moving fast enough. But I guess it makes sense. But like, it's just weird. Maybe it's like paper thin underneath or something. So you just phase through it. I don't know. It's kind of odd. That's basically my 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 guess. Core got a second world record. Everyone, K. We what did he get? Like just now or recently? I haven't been following that game, so I don't know what happened. I don't know what's been going on as of recent. Can you guess what track? No, I don't know. Didn't he have a record on some glitch track? So my guess would be some glitch track. Maybe DK Jungle Parkway, Sherbet Land, Sherbet Land. That's my guess. One of those two. Those are my guesses. I think I can't remember who had both of those. But those sound like tracks that someone could go get a crazy glitch record on. Unless he went and did uh, Waluigi Stadium or something. Uh. Yeah, I could, I could have made that. I could have hit the fast forward button. Sure, it land. Dude, it was, it was my first guess. Thank goodness. Well, congrats to him. That's a, that's a tough one to get. Isn't that a two out of three now? Or is it 
three out of three? No, two. I don't even think it can be three out of three. Two out. Of, yeah, it's two out of three. I've never even done it one, so it's impressive to me. I'm good for him. That is a W. I'm assuming no one got Stadium still, right? The two out of three on Stadium. That was just the other one I was thinking of that maybe could have happened. Coil ramp was another one I should have tried. Thinking about that now. I don't really know what I'm going to do here. It's another one I should have seen some kind of strat I could do. I can do... I think I can do that like one more time before it becomes a little whack. Because I think if you try to do it again, it's like kind of scary. You can just roll right off. Well, it feels so weird doing stages like this. That's what I mean, though. It would suck to have to keep doing these over and over and over again. That's why I hope that I can hopefully not take too long. Hunter got two out of three. For real? He already got it? Like, what's the time? Is this a not a April Fool? I thought it was still one for three. I knew Hunter was going for it. I just didn't know where he got it. My eyes are closed. I didn't see what happened. Been living under a rock. Just do this. Just the casual way. Taking it, taking it down a notch. This is why I'm glad you're here, man. You're keeping me, keep me up to date with this stuff. This is intense. Seesaw. Oh. Holy crap, that is a huge seesaw. They weren't kidding. 131, dude. Well, it was like a 140 something before, right? So, I mean, that's, that's pretty good improvement. Gotta admit. Well, geez, I like, gotta go watch that. Was that recent? That's gotta be recent. It's a fun little trick you might not have known. You can use this as a slide to go down. So you don't have to worry about bouncing down the stairs. Just a fun, fun little Easter egg. You might not know. I haven't done that one in a hot minute. It just got two world records on Sherman Land in a week after the world record was standing for 600 days. Shaved off one and a half seconds. And then Core swooped in and took the record. Dude, what? It's always weird hearing when stuff like that happens, you know? Like when a record stands for like super long and then all of a sudden it gets beaten by like multiple people multiple times. Happens more often than you'd think. It's always impressive. I have to wonder how much of it's like, maybe it's just a mental thing or... I guess it helps too if people are actually grinding it at the time. But sure, but land, dude, that's a freaking hard glitch, I'm pretty sure. Got Jeff Compass, thanks for the good luck. Jay the Cool. I actually don't think I've ever seen that before. Two and a half months ago? Well, dude, now I just feel like a noob. How did I miss that? Two and a half months ago. Where are those record review videos at? I haven't watched one of those in a hot minute. Maybe I gotta check one out. Boom! See that epic skip right there? That's a classic strat. Boom! Beginner, deathless, done. Easy. Skip the cutscene, sadly. Yes, I do want to save. Boom! Four minute long video. I'll check it out later. I'll I'll, I'll remember that. It's, I gotta I gotta check that out. Cause I was thinking about that. Uh, some point the other day. I was thinking about Mario Kart stuff. I will keep a dab on that. But I am kind of curious of what's going on with Sherwood Land as well. Anyways, yeah, so we're in advanced. 
Didn't think beginner would take more than one try. Not really shocked. But I am glad because I didn't want to play beginner again today, so hopefully I don't have to. Since I saved, I shouldn't have to. Unless I miraculously do this whole thing in one try right now, in which case uh, I still wouldn't have to, so never mind. There's no Ultra ND came out and I tried to tell you, man. It was a it was an April Fool's prank. I knew it. I tried to warn you. It called me crazy. You know what was real though? They had some other run. There was uh wasn't there some other glitch or at least some task it was like Mario Raceway, was it? They did some some improvement on April 1st and it actually was real. I guess it wasn't a new, a new cut, but I know on Raceway they did a thing where, for the fast lap, where they didn't actually have to fall off the track. So it's like eight seconds or something now. Crazy. I don't remember if that's what I'm thinking of though. It might have been something else. But it's hard to know because half the stuff they do is like complete troll face. So you never know. They they pranked me too many times. That's like a classic Mario Kart thing. Is like. Guys, it's April 1st. All of a sudden, five new Ultras were found. Whoa! Like, whoa! Guys. What a coincidence. How did this happen? Yeah. Jello Puff always does April 1st improvement. Well, I didn't know. I can never, I can never tell who to trust. But it's good to know at least that one was legit. Yeah, like five seconds or something. I mean, not falling off, that'll do it. Ready? Choice, it's time to make a choice. I'm gonna make the easy choice. Kind of a shame, really. Taking the easy path. Just take the hard path, gotta grind. Improvement. Bonus wave. I have a hard time even calling these waves, I'm gonna be real, these are like, Bumps. He's like the lamest wave pool ever. Those things barely even move. Ready? I don't know why they like made the made that stage so lame in this game. Their animation budget, something something happened. Owns oh, tooth. I don't know why that's called that. Literally no clue. Ready? Someone got their first world record? Who was it? Someone I know? Maybe? On MG no glitch. MG no glitch. What's MG? I was thinking Mario Circa. I'm like, wait a minute. Last I checked, that doesn't start with a G. It's Mushroom Gorge. Wait a minute. That's kind of awesome. Good for them. Who was it? Need builders? This level needs some work. Been a work in progress for 15 years. Alperon from Austria? Yeah, I don't know who that is. But congrats to that person on the first world record. Mushroom Gorge, no glitch. That's no wall ride too, right? No, no, no glitch at all. Just standard gap jump. Cliff. Mobile stream delay, there shouldn't be a ton. That Twitch is usually better about stream delay these days, but I don't know. Actually, I don't watch Twitch on mobile ever, so I have no idea. Truth be told, I don't really watch Twitch much in general, so I really don't actually know. I take that back. This is a cliff. Of a wacky cliff, I won't lie. 
It'd be pretty scary to trek that IRL. Concentric. Cooler than it looks. Gregson beat both of his world records, seeing glitch and no glitch. I actually do think I did see that. I think I saw that on Twitter. The new Coconut Mall record, or at least the... I think I saw the glitch one. I don't think I saw the no glitch one. Or maybe I'm maybe mixing that up. Maybe it was the other one. I don't remember, because I don't remember what the times were. I just remember seeing something. Oh, cool. Oh my gosh, it's the scariest clip ever. Did you see that? Oh, got my uh, early reaction on that because a stream delay, capture delay. Seems like it's actually kind of bad right now. Like I'm going left, now I'm going right. I have the directions in my head backwards. I'm like two seconds behind. Boom, just press day. It's like a second, second and a half. Did I jump off on the other bonus level? I don't remember. Jared beat Zeke on Bowser Castle. I think I saw that too, actually. So, I think I did see that. So he has record on glitch and no glitch. You might have even mentioned that. If that was before last stream. I don't remember. It's just that, that sounds familiar. Banks. Get a bank around like this. Boom, shortcut. Holy cow. Able to do one of those levels without looking? You know, I would think so. But at the same time, anytime I ever tried something like quote unquote blindfolded, like not actually with a blindfold on, but just without looking, it usually ends up being a lot harder than you'd think. So, I don't know. I haven't really given that much of a shot on the bonus stages, but. I'm gonna risk this. YOLO. That's not hard, you just boost. Although that would have been so sad if I failed that, I won't lie. I'm gonna do this jump too. I'm feeling risky. It's not very hard. Triangle holes and quick turn, I could do. Simple might be a toughie. But yeah, it's it would be a little tough. Like you could probably beat like SMB1's beginner, like the ten stages in that, maybe. Although beginner ten would be a huge struggle. You'd have to use like audio cues for like the like the monkey being like on the edge. Because it'll scream if it's on the edge. So that's the only indication you'll have. And maybe playing with some form of rumble on might help. I don't know. I don't play with rumble, so I don't really remember. I used to a long time ago. I was like a kid. Yeah, I was like not looking. I gotta I gotta look. Make sure I don't fall off. Yeah, it's like that's the problem is you can't do like normalized setups. Like like I've seen like Mario 64 blindfolded where they have like setups to do like a full 70 star, even I think even 120 star. And it's like crazy. But it's because, you know, you do a certain movement and then, you know, you get into this spot that you already have in your mind. You know exactly where you are and then you do the next thing. It's like all like a big setup. Whereas in this, you don't have you don't have the gift of of those kinds of setups once you've changed directions that even just like by a like a micro pixel, you know, all of a sudden it doesn't work anymore. So. Blindfolded pause strats, I could believe, because the pause strats basically let you do the normalized stuff. So I could believe that. I don't. It sounds terrible. You can't even see the game. You can't even see what freaking frames you get. But I I still believe it. It sounds sounds plausible. Oh, pausing to the rolling sound stops? Really? That's actually kind of clever then. I, I didn't realize it was it was like that. I just assumed it was just blind. Truly blind. Boom! Glitch goal. Save the replay. Not really. I already have enough replays on this Xbox. I guess that's clever. I, ne I never even thought about like what the sound effects are when you pause. I don't even think about that. But yeah, the rolling sound goes away. Although that wouldn't that wouldn't work on deluxe because you don't have the rolling sound in this game. Wait a minute. 
This game's exponentially harder. Last time I played SMS, sometime last year. I haven't played it a single time in 2022. But I did play it sometime last year because I not only streamed it a few times, but I did, uh, I, I was doing a little bit of ILs one day. I wasn't streaming it, I just remember doing some. And that might have been like around October, November, something like that. So, almost half a year ago. Crazy to think. Last half a year or so has kind of flown by. I was thinking of playing it again though. Just, just I don't know what I'll do. But I, think, I think I'm doing something with it. You know what? That reminds me. I did the I did the jumpless run. That might be the last time I played it, because that was in November. I think that's the last time I played. Because that was the last stream I did in 2021, and then I didn't stream for like four months. Had a hiatus, which is not unusual. I've had a million of those. It's very sad. Problem is, I just don't have anything to do in that game. Like, it, the, the jumpless thing was cool, but it's like, I just don't know what to do, because I don't really want to speedrun that much. I'm kind of at that point where I think speedrunning, like, I don't know, it kind of, like, bores me really quick, so. Like, even this is, like, I mean, this isn't really speedrunning. This is, this is, like, something kind of different. I could speedrun this game, I suppose. I could always play Ultimate in this. I haven't played it. Really, I haven't ran it in a long time. Like, seriously ran it. But, like I said, I'm kind of at the point where, like, the whole monotony of grinding and resetting constantly, I don't know, it's just, it's just I have a hard time doing that now. And not getting bored out of my out of my mind. May 17, 2022, your five-year anniversary, dude. Oh, my gosh. Think about that, dude. First time you ever came to the stream, half a decade ago, almost. That's insane to me. 2017 was not five years ago. I don't believe it. Feels like maybe two or three. Starting random frames. The rolling sound starting random frames. I guess I, I guess I could believe that. that makes sense. Only random thing in the game. Well, better that than something else, I suppose. I mean, the weird like whatever sound that plays in this game, I think is random too. But I couldn't be sure. Competitive TF2. You know, if I like TF2, I consider it. But I don't. Sadly, I don't like TF2. Not the biggest fan. Truthfully, I'll be completely honest. Don't really game that much at this point. Really don't. Me playing video games is when I stream, and I've streamed three times this year. Guess how many video games I've played this year, guys? That's not fully true. I have I've played some stuff with like. I've played some games with my brother. I've played chess. I've played chess. It's not really a, it's not a video game, though. Could stream that, though. Could do it. So. so what up, Aged Whale in the chat, dude? How's it going? What's going on? Being pranked this 2022? I wish I was being pranked, dude. It's like, blows my mind. I'm 24 now. Like, what the heck happened? I don't think COVID helped. I feel like it made the last couple years actually just a blur, like, unironically. No exaggeration, it actually is a blur. The last two or three years all blend together in my mind. Got a cat, dude. Well, that's kind of awesome. I kind of I kind of was thinking not that long ago. I'm like, I kind of wish I could get like a cat or a dog or something. Cause I never had a pet other than like fish. So like, it'd be cool to get, get like an actual pet sometime. Yeah, how's that been? That's kind of dope. Competitive Fortnite would be dope. You know, I suck at Fortnite, and that would probably be a, a not a super eventful stream. Probably be a zero viewer moment. I don't know if anyone would want to watch that. Yes, though, that would be dope. Programming. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like programming would be hard to make into content. Could do it. That'd be tough. That's how I felt if I ever tried to stream anything. If I'm like, like making something, like a video or something, I'm like, how interesting would that actually be to watch? It's like watching me work. Who wants to do that? It's hard enough to get people to watch me play a video game.
23 this year. Dude, 23. I wish I was still 23, man. Those were the days. Two months ago, man. It was awesome. Programming content. I'm sure there probably are. I just don't know if I could do it. I don't know if I could pull that off. Cat's low maintenance. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Because I do think a dog would probably be more like... Uh, more energy than I am like expecting. Whereas I do, I do think a cat would be easier. I've never had either one myself. I've had like family members that do though. So I go to like their houses, you know, they, you know, I know what it's like, kind of. I've never had one myself in my house. Chill and hang out stream usually, yeah. I could see that, especially if you're just chilling with people, you know, you think are cool. But I also think that's gotta be something that if I stream more often, I'd consider it. But when I stream once a month, it's like, dude. Gotta be a little more regular than that. People forget I exist after a month. Like, come on. Hopefully I can pick up the pace. I'm planning to stream a little bit more, at least in the next month or so, because I think I'm gonna move again, so. Get in the streams while I can. Especially since I probably won't have some of these consoles after I move. At least not with me. SGDQ this year? Nope. No way. At least don't think so. I'm not planning to go. Registration might still be open, but I'm not going. Um, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to go. I don't have a reason to. 23 when COVID started. It's 22. It's just weird. Like I said, it's like it just made the time kind of like really just kind of bleed away because I still in my mind am like 21, 22 right now, but 24, it's kind of weird. Been out of college for uh, almost a year now, so yeah, that's so weird to think. Yeah, so far we're still deathless by the way. I've kind of been autopiloting, but we're still deathless. It's good. We're getting into the harder part of the run. Or at least we're approaching it slowly. I'm gonna do this super duper safe and just go back there as a little pocket to bounce off of. 100% Ocarina of Time. I could see that being pretty cool. I don't I don't know anything about that game, so me watching that is like, I just don't know what the heck I'm looking at, but. I like most like 100% uh, type runs in general, like just to watch. Doing them's fun too if they're not too long. I haven't watched any GDQ runs though in a hot minute. I did not watch a single one a GDQ. I didn't watch any. I don't know what happened. Was anything good? Probably was. I didn't watch any for the past like three events. Just don't even think about it. Cause back back in the day it was like big deal. Like everyone I you know talked to was like, guys, it's GDQ week. Like yo. But now it's like, oh wait, guys, GDQ was last week. Oh wait, I missed it. I just don't even think about it. Ready? Time doesn't exist anymore, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Again, like the fact that it's April right now. Like what happened? April 2022. Try not to think about it too much. Yeah, can I get out? This is the stage you cannot beat. It is impossible. My clear rate on the on the game will always be 0%. Because it is impossible to be. I don't know what they were thinking. There's no goal. And at least as of now, no one's ever managed to get all the bananas. I was told last stream though that apparently there's a theoretical way to do it. Maybe. Yeah, when's the last time they've done SMS? I feel like Diddy did SMS a couple events ago. Like maybe the first time it was online. Yeah, I'm just gonna time over. Yeah, Green of Time, Majora's Mask. The classics. Makes sense. So the problem is I just don't have many things I want to watch. Because, like, most of the games that I, like, enjoyed speedrunning slash watching speedruns of, I feel like I've already kind of consumed my, my fill, you know. Like, I've already had my fill. I'm kind of done. And it'd be one thing if it was in person. Because I feel like there's, like, an, an another, like... Um, I'm gonna focus here for a sec. I feel like there's another element of interest when it's in person. 
But when it's just online, it's like I just feel like I'm just watching a stream. It's like I can do that any time of the, the week. You know, it's not, not nearly as interesting. Just watching a stream with random donations littered in. It's like, okay, I can do that. It's not the same as when it's in person. You got the couch, you got the crowd. You know, you see it all happening. Play Hatcher's a good run to watch. I know it has changed a lot, dude. I know it has. I mean, just from the some of the stuff Monkey's done. It's crazy. Yeah, Diddy's been doing 120. I think he still has. I haven't checked recently, but I think he's still been doing a lot of 120, 64 stuff, and I think he's gotten pretty dang good, so. If he's not already like a top runner in that game, he's probably pretty dang close. Yeah, just, I don't know, I just haven't been keeping up. Just haven't had as much interest in speedrun stuff, but really that's kind of been, that's not really new. I've kind of had a lacking interest for like a long time now. So some of that could be COVID, some of that could just be me. Randomizer. Oh no. It's the last thing I want is to randomly fall off. Kit Cats or Twix. I mean, I like them both, but I'm probably, uh, I don't know, off the top of my head, Kit Kat? Like, I haven't had either in a while. Kit Kats are classic, but Twix is also really good. I don't know, man. You kind of named two pretty high tier ones. It's like asking me what's better, like, you know, Monkey Ball or Mario Kart Wii. It's like, dude, I don't know. Kind of a tough choice. Probably Mario Kart Wii, but, like, you know, another day I might say the other one. Like, I don't know. Having Kit Kats right now? I chose right. MK Wii later? That's the plan. Assuming I don't, like, my energy levels don't completely go to zero. Plan was to do some uh, Mario Kart online, at least. I updated CTGP, so I'm ready to go. 64 DS or Monkey Ball? Oh, come on, dude. Can't ask questions like that. Ready? I mean, Deluxe, I'm, the game I'm playing right now is like easily one of my favorite games ever, so. 64 DS is also really, really good, but it's, it's not my favorite game ever. My number one favorite game ever is probably either this or Mario Kart Wii. I think it's Mario Kart Wii, but I don't know. I flip-flop on that. Sixty forty S, but I like top ten. It's not garbage, dude. There's something wrong with you. After all these years, and you still say that? Like, come on. I thought you'd wisened up just a little bit. Level up. Okay, don't fail this. You fail this, you suck. Boom! I don't suck. Let's go. Taking the W. Now I gotta like actually get the goal. And luckily, it lets you save too after uh, after you beat the next stage. So so far, we're so I'm beating my my first uh, real attempt. I did an attempt of this so many years ago, just one one attempt. I got to giant comb and failed, but now I've actually surpassed my past self. So that's kind of epic. Uh, I don't remember when I can go here. I think now nah, it's probably fine. Okay, that was a little early, a little scary, but we're good. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Gotta remember to save here. Because, uh, advanced extra is not exactly easy, so 